Hey everybody, uh, today I have a unboxing to do for the um, 8-bit dough zero. I got this last week and I wanted to do a review on it but I didn't have a chance to because I've been sick but you get the ribbon, you get the charger and the controller and I have it running on the Raspberry Pi Zero of all things 8-bit Doe Zero, Raspberry Pi Zero running RetroPie alright so let's check it out right so what you're going to want to do is go into RetroPie configuration with a Bluetooth okay and then you're gonna wanna change this to background uh, the configure in Bluetooth connect mode uh, I saw it in another video so I would just go ahead and do it um, okay now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the controller and then we're going to go ahead and register and connect. And hopefully it'll find it right off the bat. Alright, and that's not it. Okay. Um, well, hopefully it'll find it here shortly. At some point. Ah, yes, here we go. Okay. And then it'll ask, uh, please choose the security mode. Just hit display yes, no. Okay, and then once it does that, it'll say that it's connected. And there you go. You're good to go. Okay, and then just back out of this. And now the controller's connected. And that's it. Uh, I mean, you'll have to map all your controls how you want them. But, uh, you know, I already have mine set up. So I don't really need to do it a second time, and you should know how to do it by now, so I think you'll be alright. Um, alright, well next let's check out how it controls on some of the games. Okay, so now let's check out some games. Uh, I have Dino Thar in here. This is a cool little game, I always like putting this game on all my RetroPie builds. I got, you know, the 8-bit splash screens for all the systems. Press OK. And there we go, see? We can do what we gotta do. Works great, and of course to exit, start and select, and there you go, you're back. Um, now everything, for the most part, works. The only thing that I have on here that's kind of hit or miss is Final Burn Alpha, and let me show you what I mean. Blade Master, for instance. Okay, here we 
go. Okay, let's get into the game here. It takes pretty long, and you'll see why in a second. Yeah. Woo. As you can see, it does not run this game very good. We're moving at a snail's pace. But if we go to something like, uh, say, Dodonpachi, Yeah, but, um, for the most part, Final Burn Alpha games, or games running on Final Burn Alpha, work pretty good. But there are some that they just don't work good at all. But yeah, as you can see, it's running pretty good. Um, you know, it's not a hundred percent you know the best but it gets the job done I mean I mean you will notice some lag here and there with some games but some will just be virtually unplayable uh, but other than that for the most part everything else works good um, you know, anything from Atari up to, you know, Genesis and Super Nintendo, uh, you know, Game Boy Advance, you know, most of that stuff works great. I mean, it all runs really good. The only one uh, that does have trouble is Final Burn Alpha. Like I said, it's hit or miss with the games that you use and I guess it just depends on whether they're Neo Geo um, based games or MAME arcade based games but yeah so mm, it works pretty good and you know for a tiny little single board computer with a tiny little Bluetooth controller I mean there's a micro console there you go Anywhere you go, you can put it in your pocket, your backpack, boom. You have instant entertainment all the time. One more quick thing before we wrap this video up. Um, I took the time to install the desktop. And I'm not running this off of the controller, by the way. I'm just using my keyboard. But... Um, I installed the desktop so that I would be able to, um, you know, be, be able to access my ROM files easier. And it, it's, there's not really anything on here at all other than just whatever. And they really stripped it down to just what you need. So, um,. As you can see, there's not really much of anything in here. Um, you, you know, all the all the bells and whistles that come on Raspbian. You know, they they really stripped them down. And I did. I ran the um, command that you know when you're installing uh, Raspbian. 
from RetroPie, it'll ask, uh, do you want to uninstall, you know, all the, all the, all the packages that you're not really going to need. And, um, uh, I went ahead and ran it and I, it said that everything was already, uh, removed. So there's not even really any point to run that. But, uh. Just wanted to show you guys that really quick. Nothing special, uh, but if you need to, uh, one one thing though, like I don't know who works on RetroPie or what, but Cody is the same Cody that you'll get from RetroPie, which is like the crappy like peopleware version that doesn't really let you do much of anything, you know. Uh, if you want to install it, just to be able to you know access movie files from a flash drive or music or whatever then by all means go ahead but um if you want retro pie and you know a, a good setup for cody i would say do berry boot uh it's probably the easiest i mean it's not really easy it's kind of a um it's kind of a weird uh setup you know like you got to know how to set it up right or whatever but that would be my best bet for you um Unless, you know, you can find some way to make that crappy peopleware version work for you. I mean, hey, go ahead. But me, I prefer just not to use it. I have a separate uh, SD card just for Cody. So, if you want both, though, like I said, try Berry Boot. Um, might, be, might be up your alley. Okay, um, one more quick thing before I go. Uh, another good thing that this controller is good for is RetroPie on the pocket chip. There's, here we go. Alright. So. Go ahead and boot up something. Yeah. Love these Mojon twin games. But yeah, Oof. Oop. so there you go, we can play games on the pocket chip using the 8-bit dough controller, which is pretty cool. And so far this is the only thing I've really been able to use the controller with. Uh, I can't use it to do anything else other than play RetroPie. Which is alright, you know. It's nice to have a controller instead of the clunky keys sometimes. But yeah, uh, and one other thing too, I'm, I can't really show it because I'm using my phone to record all this. Um, it works great on Android too, um, with all kinds of emulators, and it even works with some games from the, the Play Store. Um, it works with iPhone too, but I... I don't mess with iPhone. Uh, you know, I, I mostly just use Android, so I don't... If you use iPhone, hey, cool, g more power to you, but I don't really know anyway. I, I don't know how to set it up or anything like that, so if you choose to get one of these, you, I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. Well, there you have it, everybody. The 8-bit dough. Zero controller running on the Raspberry Pi Zero and also running on the pocket chip. So, uh, you know, and it also runs on Android, like I said, uh, you know, iPhone, uh, Windows with Bluetooth, uh, Linux, Mac, 
all that stuff. It works with everything. As far as I know, you know, as long as you have Bluetooth, you're good to go. You know, you, you, you got it set up. Um, but yeah, it's great to be able to just have something this small to tote around with you in your pocket. You know, uh, carry a tablet with you. You're waiting on the bus. Why not play some games? Buy two and have a friend play with you. And you can even do that on the RetroPie. Uh, have two controllers set up. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely a cool, cool little thing. Um, well, uh, this has been another video, guys. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to I'll try to get another video out soon. Sorry, guys, I've been sick lately, and I haven't really had a whole lot of time to do anything since the last time I did a video. So um, until then, just keep watching, uh, like, and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Google Plus at uh, DIY RPI. Um, Shoot me a line uh, if you want to know if you want to ask a question or if you would like to see something that I haven't talked about or covered. Uh, just let me know. Uh, thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. Um, everybody, have a wonderful day. Take care.